Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th. Okay, so we're just gonna see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for a message for around the 10th? What is the 10th bringing in? Eight of Cups. Now, we all know what the Eight of Cups is, but not everybody does, but a lot of people do. The Eight of Cups is walking away from emotional disappointment right into wish fulfillment because the Nine of Cups comes after Eight of Cups. So, we have somebody here, and it looks, it's probably right, it's either around the new moon or the full moon or something like that. Um, we have somebody here that is going down a new path they have been in a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling to them so they are saying goodbye this is saying goodbye it's 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 dealing with the emotions facing the emotions this person happens to be facing the emotions okay they're going through it right now they're going through the emotions right now they're about to go through them okay this is somebody that is strong obviously that is that is ready they are ready to leave the emotional disappointment behind and they're going to deal with it because right now they're about to walk through their emotions you know they're about to walk through that path and it's going to be an emotional departure it is it is so um but and there's a there's a there's an unknown and well unclear there's an unclear path ahead right but this person is ready. They're ready. They just it's like they're they're taking the steps right now to walk away from something knowing that the path is unclear, knowing not or not knowing, you know, knowing that you know they don't know what's on the other side, but they're going to do it anyway. So we have we have somebody here that is ready to face the emotional disappointment to get to wish fulfillment. So they're going through emotional turmoil right now, and they're really feeling it, but they're taking the steps that they need to have wish fulfillment in their life. Whew. Now, Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, this is somebody who has been having sleepless nights. This is somebody who's been having, you know, a lot of thoughts. They've been really thinking about everything, really stressed out, in a state of despair, having a hard time sleeping, uh, especially at night. This person has been, you know, uh, having a lot of anxiety, extremely worried, thinking about something. Uh, thinking about leaving, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. So we definitely have somebody that has been in their thoughts. They've been depressed. They've been anxious. They've been um, worried, worried about, you know, what if I do go down this path? So we do have somebody here that has really, really been thinking about leaving a situation. and But they've been extremely distraught. So we have somebody that has been distraught. They've been feeling very alone. It feels like maybe they've even been sleeping alone, you know, maybe even if they're in a relationship, you know, they've been sleeping alone, they've been feeling alone, they've been wanting emotional fulfillment, but they, but they haven't been able to take action. And it's because of fear. It is because of fear. So somebody has been in a stressful situation where they've uh, been having to make a painful, stressful decision. You see the two of swords over here. The two of, two of swords is torn, torn in two different directions. So somebody's really been torn in regards to a decision that they've had to make and they've been haunted okay they've been haunted by um, their own fears there's been some sort of deception there's been some lies maybe even some cheating I'm not sure there's definitely been some sort of deception that has caused this person to spare and now they have to leave they and they know they have to leave but this is a painful stressful decision so somebody is is in the process right now of making a decision and it hurts it does hurt this person is is fearful because what if they you know twos are choices with two swords right here they have to make a choice you know not knowing what the outcome is going to be so we do have somebody that here that is really really struggling right now 
there's there's been some lies and I feel like these lies have have come to the surface you know it's it's clear that there's been lies it's clear that there's been deception it's clear that there's been betrayal the only thing to do now is to make that decision to to stop be living in denial somebody has been in denial they've been blocking themselves from happiness by staying in this lonely situation so now they're going to be leaving. Somebody is going to be going someplace. Ace of Swords reverse. Now this is dishonesty. Um, lack of communication. Lack of awakening. It's like not waking up. Now the, the Ace of Swords reversed is lack of truth. Loss of power. Um, not being honest. Not being emotionally honest. Interesting. Not communicating. Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups is about love. It's a new start in love. It's definitely going to be emotional. Okay, the Ace of Cups brings emotions. It brings emotions to the surface. It also is a car. It is a gateway to intuition. So somebody's intuition in their gut in, is really talking to them. They're dreaming a lot. Their dreams are 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 talking to them. So somebody, I, I just here. This is a nightmare. This is a dream. So it feels in the past somebody's been living in a nightmare, but this is a dream. So and again we have a moon. So there's something to do with the moon. Either it's the new moon or the full moon. Um, emotional fulfillment. Somebody hasn't been taking any new approach. You know, they haven't come up with a plan or something, but they've been thinking about it. Um, this is not being honest, though. The Ace of Swords reversed. That is dishonesty. Dishonest about their feelings, dishonest about their emotions. But there is some sort of new start in love. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But somebody has to be honest with themselves. They have to be honest. They have to be true. Somebody, this is denial. Okay, the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is about denial. Somebody has been living in denial. They've been, they've been um, blocking their own happiness by staying in this situation where there's been betrayal and they've been lying to themselves but there is an opportunity for love and I feel like this person knows it that's why they're walking away this is this is this is great love it's big love it's emotional fulfillment so there is a new start in love here if somebody can be honest with themselves ten of wands reverse now the ten of wands is better in reversed this is making a conscious change this is somebody that is on that is headed towards balance this is letting go of something that has been weighing them down so somebody is letting go of something that has been weighing them down and it was it was drowning them they were drowning they were they were in a situation where it, they were sinking they were sinking they were sinking fast trying to prove themselves trying to make somebody or trying to get somebody to help them when when all these people or this person all this person did or these people did was care about themselves so anyway this is making a conscious change we have somebody here that is going after wish fulfillment they are they're going after happiness after they have been able to, unable to find their power after they have been unable to uh, see the truth that somebody hasn't been able to see, or they have they've seen it they see it but they haven't been able to take any action i mean that ace of swords reverse is a, a lack of power a lack of clarity maybe they've been unclear but it feels like they've been haunted by their thoughts you know because that's what the universe will do or god or a higher power they will keep on bringing you this struggle or this pain or this uh, these dreams or whatever to make you take action. So anyhow, um, the Ten of Wands reverse is making a conscious change to release something that has been weighing you down. So somebody is going to be doing that. This is this is dropping it. It's like this is this is like uh, dropping the baggage, dropping the re re burden, letting go of the responsibilities. You know, it is and, and saying goodbye. It is. It's really literally saying goodbye. The Eight of Cups. Um, we got two of them the chariot and the four of pentacles somebody's been holding on for stability you know this is a card of stability and security maybe for the assets maybe for the money you know holding on uh, to the stability of some sort of partnership 
or something like that. But the chariot is taking charge. It's getting in the driver's seat. It's finding the discipline and the willpower to move in another direction. But somebody has been staying in this situation because of the, the money or the stability or the security of it. But this is, it is finding the willpower, mastering emotions, getting in the vehicle, taking a ride, taking a journey, leaving the past behind, facing the opposition, letting go of fear, having faith and moving forward. So somebody is definitely moving forward. They are moving forward. They weren't doing anything because of the stability. You know, for some reason, this was stable. Maybe it was financially stable. Maybe there was assets or money involved that was keeping somebody, you know, in a situation. They were, but it, there was a lot of despair. A lot. There is a lot of despair. Uh, a lot of deception. And I feel like now it's reached a point of, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. You know, this is mentally exhausted. We have somebody here that is exhausted. They're drowning. They're sinking. They feel like they're drowning. You know what I mean? And, you know, they've lost their power. They've, they've, they've lost it. They've lost their power now. And they've been dishonest with themselves for long enough. Anyhow, I do see movement here with the chariot card. That is that is literally somebody could be packing up and leaving. Okay, they may be packing up and leaving. They could be or they could be traveling to a new traveling towards love, moving towards love, moving towards emotional fulfillment. There's obviously a big opportunity for love here. There is. Could be dealing with a cancer. Doesn't have to be. I could be dealing with anybody. But we have somebody here that is um mastering their emotions and they're finding their discipline they're finding their discipline and their willpower to take back control of their lives after they have given their control and their power away to an individual that betrayed them whether this person cheated on them or stole from them or uh, lied to them or held them down weighed them down or you know something like that somebody has given their power away but now if there's somebody's taking it back it's like they're taking charge so we do have somebody here that is taking charge and they are uh, and it's because they have a huge opportunity they do they do they have a huge opportunity and they know that they have a huge opportunity so I feel like we have somebody here that is headed towards wish fulfillment because they are finding I feel like they're finding their courage they're finding their strength to face opposition you know, and I think that they've been extremely fearful because the path is so unclear. You know, the path is so unclear, you know, that, you know, it's unclear. It's unclear, you know, and where they've been, it's so stable, even though there's no love. But and there's love, you know, to be had. There is love to be had. Anyhow, um, five of cups reversed. Now that five of cups is better in reversed. The Five of Cups in reversed is, you know, it's on the path to recovery. There's been some sort of prolonged grief. Somebody has been focusing on something that, somebody that hurt them, somebody that broke their heart, a, a broken relationship or something. I, ignoring an opportunity for love when there is an opportunity for love. And I feel like now they see that there's an opportunity for love. And they're moving in that direction. And I think they're going to be moving very, very fast in that direction. So I feel like this is a painful, stressful decision that is being made to make a conscious change, to say goodbye to some sort of uh, dishonest situation where there's a lack of integrity, uh, where there's been some sort of uh, betrayal. It's so saying goodbye. It's saying goodbye to something that is somehow stable, financially stable. You know, there's assets. It, it is. But needing to take a new approach that has been avoided. A new approach has been avoided because of the assets or whatever. But now it's all about love. It's all about love. And I feel like this person has been grieving over a past relationship for a long time. Or they've been grieving over a relationship that didn't work out or the pain that it caused. And now there's another opportunity for love with a five of cups reverse. There is. Now somebody is like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready for love. I want love. I'm going after love. You know, I think this could even be for some of you, and it's not going to be for everybody. There could be a reconciliation here. There could be with the Five of Cups right next to the Ace of Cups. 
somebody could be whatever's happening somebody is traveling towards a love this is traveling towards love it is so they're they're, they're going to be going towards love okay and it is a big 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 love and they're going to be facing opposition along the way and it's an unclear path but they are going to have love they are going to have it. it it's it's here it's here So anyway, so I think that a, a, a decision is being made. We have somebody here that has been lonely. They have been betrayed. They have been lied to, maybe even cheated on. And they've held on and they've uh, suffered and they've grieved. And now they're, you know, saying goodbye to the situation. And there's an opportunity for love. I mean, what more can I say? Somebody is getting or they're offering their heart to somebody else. Good luck.